All right, you know me and me with my, my cool shades, which now they're on properly. Since Need for Speed Heat is over, with like the updates and just the overall adding content to the game, we thought we might as well go a bit stupid with this game and just do some crazy and ludicrous stuff. And that's what we're actually going to be doing right now. So first things first, we need to take these glasses off. We should throw them over there and yeah, let's just get straight into it. I always seem to forget, but not this time around, is to put my trustworthy headset on because I normally do forget to actually put it on and we're not going to forget that today. If you guys are looking for some very cheap games and game codes, check out Instant Gaming, the link in the description. Trust me, it's something you do not want to miss the opportunity of just, just getting cheap games. So as you can already probably tell, um, the, the sky looks a lot better, the, the, the nightfall looks a lot better, it's because we've currently modded it. Do what I want to do, which is going to be very fun, and it's going to be really funny to be honest, because we're going to be seeing what a car looks like with near enough everything removed on it, the hood, the bumpers, the spoiler, and just so on. So the first car we're actually going to be looking at is this Porsche. Yeah, this Porsche RSR, we're going to get this in the garage. And we're just going to go around and just see what it's like because this car is possibly one of the overpowered cars in the game. So it definitely does deserve get everything removed. So if we go on the body, first thing we're going to remove is the hood. There we go. So we can actually see our, our trunk, which there's not much space there. We're also going to remove the trunk lid. There we go. We can see our engine, which it, it doesn't look rusty. It looks brand new. And you would have thought a car like this would have a, a more beautiful engine than it is, but it, it, it still looks okay. So the license plate, we, we can't move the license plate, but we can actually move the bumper and then the license plate goes with it. And just look at this, look at the exhaust. I don't know if we can actually remove the exhausts. Oh my God, we can. The exhaust, is, it's, it's just gone. We're also going to move the side skirts, the front fenders, the headlights. Oh, look at this. It looks proper bare. And we need to also move the, the, the splitter. And I think it's the windrows. And that's all we can remove. It's just a shame that we actually we can't remove the door. But it doesn't matter. It still looks... It just looks mental, doesn't it? Look at this. Oh, my God. We can still see the flames, people. We can still see the freaking flame. I, 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 I honestly... I come up with some crazy ideas. But we've got to see what this is like driving around. Because, yeah, it's, it's a brick. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is very weird. And look, you can even see his legs. His legs. Look at his legs. Yeah, we've got we're currently a, a a woman. It, it remind it just reminds me so much of a beetle, a Volkswagen beetle. That's what it looks like. But look at this; it still goes fast. I wonder what people will think about this car online if we go online. I don't even know if people play online on Need for Speed Heat. And we, we we didn't mean to crash there, and yeah, we didn't lose too much damage. So yeah, the Porsche ISR looks very crazy. But it's still a nice looker. It is still a nice looker. Wow, really? So if you actually do look near his feet, you can't even see the pedals. You can't see the clutch, the accelerator, and the brake. I generally wonder if we've got a gear stick inside, but we can't see because there's no cockpit view mod on this like there was on Need for Speed Payback, which is strange. Unless someone does manage to come up with that, and if we do, we're going to be definitely trying that out. But at the moment, we've, we've got some crazy stuff to see. And the speed... If the, no wonder it's just OP this car because it's just crazy, isn't it? The top speed, especially if you just spam the nitrous. And my, oh my god, we've got a bit of a wavy going on there. Going to the car that I love daily, it, it, it's, the, it's the Nissan R32, the Nismo. Yeah, it's this bad boy. We've got to definitely check what this is going to be like with Nim enough everything removed. And hopefully, we can remove more than we did on the Porsche RSR, which we will see right now. So the customizations obviously remove everything. Just get rid of it all. Oh, look at the engine on that though. That is beautiful, that engine. We're, we're, we're just getting rid of everything. Look at this. Look at this. Right yeah, there, like already gone. We need to get rid of them. The side skirts, the fenders. Oh, this is gonna. I, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't even know why I'm doing it to my favourite car. <laughs> like, really, just look at the state of this. Would you think this was a, a Nismo? Would you think it's a? No, you just won't think it's a Nismo at all, would you? It looks nothing like it now. I think the only thing I'm just give away is basically the shape of the the doors and the door handle because we all know. It. And then obviously the engine gives it away because it's got Nissan there. So that's only how you would know. 
This is a, a Nismo. Let's just go out and see what it's like driving about. Um, bear in mind, I haven't even upgraded this, so it's going to be like stock. But I still think it's going to be fun to actually see what it's going to be like. So once we remove everything on and near enough all the cars, we're, we're basically just left with this. Just left with a tiny bit of the body. Nothing sexy, nothing really nice looking. We're left with... Uh, some windows, two doors, a roof, an engine, and four wheels. That's all we're left with. But look how thin the tyres look. Which we do, you would think they're a lot, they'd be a lot thicker on this type of car, but no, they're still just keeping it as it is. I wonder if we go to this gas station right here, will it, will it like repair the car completely? Will it put everything back on it? So firstly, we need to, we need to get some damage. There we go. We didn't crash that fast, but we've got quite a lot of damage. We've got three quarters of health left. Now, if we go into this gas station, will it repair the car and put everything back on it? No. Everything just stays removed. Let's just take our time and let's choose another car. I've only got 64 cars available on Nivus Speed Heat. That just tells you right there that I haven't played this game that much. Right, the next car we're actually going to choose. I've never used this car and it's the Ferrari 488 Pista. We've never used it, so we might as well, we might as well christen it with removing the customization parts and of course upgrading it as well like this car is absolutely stunning and we're just getting rid of everything this is what we've actually ended up with for this ferrari pista yeah it looks absolutely trash and i'm gonna admit it looks absolutely beautiful at the same time as well as well as my characters just staring like what the hell have you done this for ferrari pista but i think it looks all right it looks a bit weird i don't know why it's got the, the bit of plastic or metal floating at the bottom but who cares we're gonna try this out we're gonna see what it's like and i'm actually thinking I'm going to go online and see what people's reactions are. If we can actually see anyone online because I don't even know if they actually still play this game. People know when I go see me driving in my half Lamborghini it's it's a Ferrari. Shouldn't be that hard to find some people online, which is there's someone only just around this corner as well. Whereabouts are you? Do you want to come and see my Ferrari pista? Oh, we've got, we're having a drag race. A drag race is going on. Are you not going like, to enjoy like the look of my Ferrari pista, no? I know I'm probably annoying you, but I, I just want you to rate my Ferrari pista. You're all right, it wants me to move out of the way. All right, there we go. We've moved out of the way. We're going to see a drag race go off. So people are still playing this online. Oh, no, maybe he wants to have a little look. I, I might as well just beat my horn as well. It's, it's what we seem to be doing. And someone else is coming as well, hopefully. Right, he's, no, he's just gone the complete opposite way. I can't even remember. Oh, there we go. Here we go. React. Um... Nice ride. There we go. <laughs> We've actually said he's got a nice ride. Why not? Because to be honest, his Dodge looks very plain, but I still think it looks very nice. Oh, they're going to follow me now. Yeah, they're going to follow me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, look at his Dodge. It's going for it. We've just got like two rear wheels floating, which is quite funny. We might as well just smoke them. I thought we'd leave them behind. This has got really good grip, but I've, I've never used a Ferrari Pista. This is the first time I've used it. And they've, they've cut the car. And I don't, you're meant to be following me. You're not meant to be leaving me. Well, I was leaving you, but I'm going to come back down now. But yeah, the Ferrari Pista, I've never used it, but it's actually a really, really good car. I was very surprised with how good the handling is, like weaving in and around the corners. There we go. Now that is what you call some decent driving. That BMW is very nice though. Yeah, we do. So we've got some crew requests. So yeah, we might as well accept him. He's not in the crew as well, so we'll bang him in the crew. If you want to join the crew, it's Mr. Eminike Cruises. Join it if you want to, if you just started Need for Speed and you want the you want the is it the la ferrari i think it's the la ferrari you get you, you'll get it straight away now we're, we're in a bit of a rain there he's definitely checking this ferrari out it's like a bit in his mind's like what is going on what has he done to his ferrari and how has he done that well it's pretty simple really so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to a garage i'm actually gonna be showing in my porsche the the bad thing about this is that on people on like pc that don't have the microphone plugged in so you can't get their proper international reaction which is a shame oh Bro, what are you doing? Look at the state of that. Do you know what? Yeah, if, if that was my car in real life, I'd be absolutely fuming. I would be fuming. He's definitely like, what have you done to your car? As well, bro, I've just like tried to get rid of as many things as possible. It would have been funny if I could have got rid of the, the tires and alloys and a car would have been like basically flying. And is that another silver? Oh, yeah, bro, man, he's got a nice taste in cars. He has got a nice taste in cars. The plain and simple, but absolutely beautiful. And I love it when people do cars like that. So, yeah, here we go. This is the Porsche RSR once everything is fully gone. Well, as much as we can get rid of. Yeah, it looks good. You could probably put a... 
You could probably put a baby there, couldn't you? And then you could have like a, por a Porsche push chair. You know what I mean? That might be a bit fast. You might have to put some restrictions on on the on the Porsche so it goes like I don't know five miles per hour. But other than that, you could probably put. Your, your son on there. My son would absolutely love being on there and then just driving it around. I am completely joking, by the way. I am completely joking. We're going to wrap the video up there. Like I said, we're going to be doing some crazy stuff in here for Speed Heat. We've got so many mods coming along. And yeah, it's just going to be an absolute blast testing them out and showing you guys here on YouTube. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.